Hi, my name is Methat Al Masri. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to generate images with Azure OpenAI, the DAL E3 model, Semantic Kernel, and C Sharp. The source code for the demo that we're going to do today is at the bottom of the screen. The only prerequisites for following along is .NET 8.0 and of course access to Azure OpenAI. So what is semantic kernel? The official definition is that semantic kernel is an open source SDK that lets you easily build agents that can call your existing code. As a highly extensible SDK, you can use semantic kernel with models from OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, Hugging Face, and more. In today's demo, we'll be using only the Azure OpenAI service. So let's get started. We're going to create an application using the console template in .NET. So in a terminal window, I'm going to type .NET new console and I'll call the application DALI image. I'll go into that directory and we need to add two packages. The first package is Microsoft Semantic Kernel. So I'm going to type in .NET add package Microsoft.Semantic Kernel. So that package has been installed. I need another package that is going to help me read the settings from the app.config file. And that package is system.configuration.configuration manager. So I'm going to type that in. And here it goes. So now I'm ready to start coding. I'm going to load this folder in VS Code. So I'm typing code dot here. And here is my VS Code. Now all we have is program.cs, a solution file, and the csproj file. And as you can see here, we've added these two packages. There is one more thing that I'm gonna add here. That is this no warn section. There are these potential warnings that I want to disable because some of the code here is in preview. And this will make sure that we don't get any warnings. Let us add an app.config file. I'm going new file, app.config. Contents of my app.config will look like this. I will need to have an endpoint into my OpenAI Azure service. Now this is a fake endpoint because I cannot share my true endpoint with you, unfortunately. Also, the API key is a fake key here. There are two services that we need to use on Azure OpenAI, and they are GPT-35 Turbo and DAL-E3. At the moment, because DAL-E3 is in preview, the only data center that provides this service happens to be the data center in Sweden. Next, let me open up program.cs because henceforth, all the coding that I'm going to do is going to be in this file. At first, I'm going to add these using statements using system configuration, semantic kernel, semantic kernel connections, open ABI, and semantic kernel text to image. So these are the things that I need at the moment. Next, I want to read all these settings that we placed in the app.config file. And to do that, we will use this code. This is using the configuration manager that exists in this namespace. And I'm going to access these particular keys and read their values. So this will enable me to read the endpoint, the API key, the DALI deployment name, and the GPT deployment name. We need to get a handle to our kernel and build it. By kernel, I mean semantic kernel. And to do that, I will use this code. Using the kernel object in the semantic kernel namespace, we're going to create a builder. And with that builder, we're going to add these two services. Add Azure OpenAI text to image 
and add Azure Open AI chat completion. And of course, we need to pass these parameters. For the text to image, I pass the DALI deployment plus the endpoint and API key. Whereas for the Open AI chat completion, I pass the GPT deployment name and just like previously, the endpoint and the API key. Once I have configured my builder, I call the build method to get an instance of the kernel that I'm going to use. Now from the kernel, I need to get the DAL-E service. And to do that, I use this code, kernel.getRequiredService, and I need the text to image service. So it's going to give me the DAL-E service. Needless to say, we're going to do text to image. So we need a prompt. So here is my simple prompt. It is, think about an artificial object that represents an input, a specific input that the user is going to enter. So you could type in anything and the DAL-E service is going to generate an image that it thinks represents your request. We need to specify the open AI prompt execution settings. We do this like this. The only two settings that we're going to set here are the maximum tokens and the temperature. Temperature is a measure of how creative you want the AI to be. And this is a number that goes from zero to one. So in this particular case, because we set it to one, we want the AI to use maximum creativity. Of course, you can play around with this value and see what results you get. It is obviously subject to tweaking. Using the prompt and the execution settings, we want to generate a function. So this is done as follows. Using the kernel, you're going to call a method called create function from prompt. You're going to pass it the prompt, which is just the string and the execution settings. This returns a handle to a function. At this stage, we're pretty much ready to start asking the user for a request and then taking that request and passing it on to the open AI service. Therefore, we need to prompt the user to give us some input. This is the code for that. We're going to display in a terminal window the text enter a phrase to generate an image from. Then we're going to read in the input that the user provides us with, and that would go into a string called phrase. Over here, we're going to check if the input of the user is empty or null, then we're just gonna display a message and exit. Otherwise, we will continue. We will next combine the phrase that the user has provided us with, with the function that we created. And this is done with this code. So we have the function that we created and we have the phrase. So we're going to assign this phrase to the variable in our prompt, which is this over here. And this uses the invoke async function from the kernel. It returns for us a result. And we're going to take that result and call the two string method to get the full description of what the user wants. The remainder of the process is simply to send our request to the DAL E3 service on Azure. And this is done with this code. We're going to pass our string to the DALI e service and the DALI e service, we got a handle to it right here earlier on. We're going to call a method called generate image async. And this is the size of image that we wanted to generate. Now what this returns is an image URL. Now that we got the image URL, we're going to just print it out so the user can take that, pop it in a browser and see what image has been generated using DALI 3. So that's the next command. Nothing but a console write line command. We're going to display image URL and put two new lines and display the image that was returned to us from the service. What remains for us to do is to try out 
our application. Back in a terminal window, I'm going to type in .NET run. It's going to ask me to enter a phrase. So I'm going to enter a lobster flying over the pyramids in Giza. Let's see what it comes up with. It takes a bit of time because it's doing some image processing at the back end. I think it comes back pretty quickly. And here it is, it came back. And this is the URL to here. I'm going to copy this and go into a browser and see what it came up with. And there you go. You have a lobster in a basket and it's flying over the pyramids and there's like a balloon behind it. I find this pretty fascinating and I hope you found it equally fascinating. Cheers.